In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knot a pearl necklace so you get a nice consistent knot and also how we start and finish off uh, the piece with this beautiful clasp that's in the kit. Um, and you just you just get a really professional, neat look uh, with really beautiful, consistent knots, which is what you want when you have a beautiful, beautiful high-end strand of pearls like this. They're absolutely gorgeous. And um, so I'm going to show you how to um, make that piece from start to finish. OK, so to do that, obviously, you're going to need the kit. I'm just going to move this out of the way so we go through what you're going to need. You're going to need um, the beautiful kit, um, which has these gorgeous pearls in and also the sterling silver clasp. It also has um, silk um, thread. So um, we've got a, a nice silk here and this is a number four. And so it's already threaded onto the needle, which is really, um, it's my preferred um, thread to use because it's really easy to use and it's already threaded um, and I, I've got a few essentials that I use when I'm um, pearl knotting and they are um, wire guardians or um, a couple of uh, centimetres of the um, French uh, wire um, and two um, sterling silver beads and two sterling silver crimp covers and those are my essentials for when I um, not a pearl necklace. Okay, so you're going to need scissors obviously to cut the thread uh, We're going to need flat nose pliers to close the um, crimp covers And now I, I'm using a t-pin if you've got a knot in all um, That's that's fine, but I use a t-pin and I'm also using a, a little board uh, if you've got a, um, a macrame board, this is actually a, a kumahimo board and um, that the pin will stick into um, just just makes life a lot easier. These are my essentials. So if I'm doing a knotted necklace, this is what I will get together before we start. OK, so um, so let's get going and we'll start off with uh, the beginning of the necklace. To start off, I'm going to show you how to do this starting section here. So it's actually um, securing the first pearl and attaching the strand to the clasp. And then we get this nice consistency uh, on both sides. Um, so I'm going to show you how we start off this and then obviously how we finish that. And then we, we go into the knotting um, detail. OK, so to start off with the necklace, you're going to need uh, your clasp. You're going to need your silk. You're going to need one pearl. One um, spacer bead and a wire guardian or um, French wire. OK. So we thread on our first pearl and we go to the end of the opposite end to the needle. OK, we're leaving a little tail here because we'll need this to make the first initial knot. So we thread on our first pearl and the spacer bead. We're then going to let me just move that out of the way for now. We're then going to pop on our um, wire guardian or French wire. OK, so we're just going to thread that through and bring that to this end okay so we're now at the at the end with the knot we've got a pearl spacer wire guardian okay and we're then going to go back through the wire guardian in the opposite direction trying to keep the um the wire guardian in position here so you don't have to bring all the silk too far because you don't want that to knot okay so we're now in that position so now what we need to do is attach the clasp so this clasp is a beautiful um, trigger clasp, um, but it has on either side these lovely sort of figure of eight loops. So you've got a nice big loop here. I mean, you could actually finish that as it is and then add a jump ring to attach them. But um, I wanted just a nice clean look. So you could use the, this um, clasp at the front of the piece. So I didn't want too many jump rings or too many um, other components there. OK, so we're going to pass that through. So now... The Y Guardian sits through the loop. OK, so then we're going to pass the needle through the um, space bead. Always making sure we've got our tail here. And through the um, first pearl that we're going to go into knot. OK, I'll try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. So now we need to 
make sure that this doesn't knot up too much and this actually is where your board can come in handy because we can pop let me just make sure that's not twisted too much that's it pop our clasp on there and then we can start pulling our thread through just take your time when you do this because you don't want the thread to knot up okay a nice little trick to when you're doing this is hold the um, pearl and the silk in your fingers and pull that through pull your bead down to there and pull that through and what it will tend to do it tends to hold it and keep it nice and straight okay so just make sure that nothing is, is sort of overlapping so when we come up to here it's going to be nice and neat okay so there we've got our clasp but this is a little bit open here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pull everything through so it tightens it up so it's nice and neat and a bit more there so now you've got your first pearl attached to your clasp okay so now what we need to do is secure this and start our knotting okay so let me just straighten everything back up right so to do this what we're going to do is I'm literally going to do an overhand knot so we're going to go over once and over again okay now again this is um, how I prefer to do it I pop on pop it onto my board with my little t-pin and a knot okay you get a nice you get a nice knot there nice clean knot and it's nice and tight against the pearl just there so what I would do now um, is I'm going to go through the whole process with you. I'm going to take um, some um, hypo cement or um, a nail varnish of your choice, really. Uh, nail varnish, sorry, a glue of your choice. And we're just going to pop a dab of the glue onto onto there. Okay. So we're going to keep that nice and tight. And at this point now, we're going to actually cover that with a crimp cover. So I'm going to take that off the board for now and I'm going to hold that together. You could do another knot if you wanted to. I'm just going to cover that knot with the um, with the crimp cover and I'm going to close that, that up. I'm going to give that a nice, just, just take your time because you don't want to press that out of shape. So you want that to be nice and neat so it looks like a bead okay so there's our first pearl attached to the clasp so now we've got our little tail here which we can leave on until everything's dry okay and now we're ready <coughs> excuse me for our next next pearl so what I'm gonna do what you can do now at this stage you could thread on a few pearls which I will do so we thread on a few and these pearls are absolutely absolutely beautiful Right, so I'm going to thread on three pearls, okay? So we've got our first one there. So our first one, I'm not going to do anything with that. That's how it's going to look um, at the beginning of that piece. So our first knot is going to go here, okay? So now to do that, um, I'm going to use the um, T-pin and the board. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the board over and I'm going to pop the pin through. So the pin, you can see the pin there okay <clears throat> so the pin is sort of sitting up there and i just find this is a nice easy way to do it. you don't have to do it this way you can hold the pin into the board and and work that way but i just find this a nice easy way to do it okay so what we're going to do now is i'm going to do an overhand knot always be you know be careful of this because it is sharp and it is sort of sticking up so don't you know just remember it's it's there and I'm going to pop that knot. I've done an overhand knot and I've popped it onto the, the needle. Now hold this so that obviously so it doesn't come off. Let me just get that little tail out of the way. Right, so we've got our, our thread onto the needle. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a rock so it's nice and tight. Okay. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off that thread. I wouldn't do this normally at this stage. I'd do it after it's dry but just for the demonstration so you can see what I'm doing okay so what I'm doing is I'm pressing up the, the, the second pearl 
next to the pin okay so if you can see that there so we've got our, our thread around the pin and our second pearl is there so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to take this slide it off the um, off the pin okay I'm not putting pressure on here because I don't want it to close up too soon so I'm literally just going to take that off the pin pop it down onto the board there and you see we've got quite an open if I bring that up a little bit got quite an open knot there if I pull this at this stage this knot could go anywhere it could move down and it could you know it's going to be quite open there but we want this knot to be as close to both of them as as they can be okay so the best way to do that is to hold the thread hold the bead in, the pearl in place hold this one here and then hold this between your fingers and squeeze squeeze that pearl and then once you've done that and close that knot up you can give that a pull there so we're just holding the pearl and pulling that silk so you can see there you've got a nice knot that sits nice and tightly between the two okay and I'll show you that one again so we do an overhand knot pop those pearls through pop the loop over the pin and pull that up so we've got a nice give that a bit of a rock if you need to so we've got the, the, the knot there as close and the pin as close to the pearl as we can get it. We're going to bring in our pearl, okay, slide that off, not putting any pressure on anything. So now we've got our open pearl just there. So I'm going to then just hold that and hold that and squeeze that pearl and give that up there. So there we've got our second second knot okay so then we'll do that again I'll show you once more and then we'll I'll continue that and then we'll finish off okay so what we need to do now is get another pearl so pop on the pearl one more time with the knot overhand knot through there onto the pin pull that so it's close to the pearl and then bring in the next pearl to sit alongside slide that off you've got your open knot there and then squeeze that pearl up give it a pull and there's your third knot so what you'll do is you'll continue doing that for as long as the the piece that you want so i'll continue doing that and do a bracelet length and i'll come back in a second So now I've knotted the length of um, the bracelet that I want, okay? So I've put on the number of pearls that I want. Um, and as you'll see here, we've got uh, at the penultimate pearl, I've got a knot here. But then following that, the final pearl isn't knotted. So we haven't got a knot between these two pearls here. So your final pearl hasn't got a knot in it. So that can move freely on the strand, okay? So you've got your final pearl and we've got a... Um, silver bead there in the same way that we had at the beginning okay and then what we need to do is add on our uh, wire guardian or french wire as we did in the um at the beginning of the bracelet or necklace okay so then exactly in the same way we're going to add on the clasp so i'm going to take just for the demonstration i'm going to take the um loop off there okay so i'm going to pop that through And we're going to pop that onto the wire guardian in the same way that we did um, previously okay so now we've got the clasp section there so again what we need to do is pass our thread through the crimp bead uh, through the silver bead sorry there we go so through the silver bead there and through the final pearl okay so we're going to bring that through there's our silver bead on there and I'm just going to pull that through the final pearl so now at this stage this can be very delicate because you don't want this um, this thread to to knot so I'm going to bring that down and I'm going to hold everything together and just try and pull that thread in 
nice and carefully. So as you pull that through, then bring your just pull your um, wire guardian or French wire to the end. And just keep pulling that just so that you don't do that very very carefully but again you could bring in your um, beadboard put your pin down and pull that so it goes next to it now we want this to be quite tight here okay so I'm going to bring those down bring those down there and I'm going to actually if I turn it around that way you'll see a little bit better there I'm going to pull that so it pulls everything in so that's nice and tight there and it's nice and tight here we do need a little bit of a gap but we can make that we can open that up because it's not knotted together now we can actually make that gap there so what we're going to do we're just going to pull that out a little bit just loosen this up a little bit give it a bit of a jiggle and we've, see, we've created a, a space just there so we've opened this up a little bit here um, to make our knot okay i'm going to do that just a little bit more i'm just going to try and loosen this a little bit more and the, the idea would be not to do it as tight in the first place okay there so we've got our space just just there so now what we need to do we need to put a knot in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just if i place that down on the board you'll probably be able to follow it a little bit better okay so what we're going to do i'm going to make a loop like so so that goes over the top Pass my needle underneath and through the loop, okay? Making sure that everything stays in place. And that loop then will close up into, into a knot, okay? Let me just get some hypo cement there. And we can place some hypo cement just on that little section just there, okay? And close that. Close that up. Don't hold on to it. That's it. So we're going to close that. I'm just going to pull that. So you can see we've got our knot there. Now what you can do is you can do another knot because we're going to cover this with a crimp cover. So, um, you know, it's fine to do that. So I'm just going to do another one. Pass that through. And again, when you're working with silk, it's all about just taking your time and making it nice and neat okay so there's the second one there so I'm just going to hold everything give that a good pull so there's our knot so we've got a nice knot there it's, it's larger than the other ones but that's fine because we're going to cover that with a crimp cover okay so here's our crimp cover I'm just going to make sure that's nice and tight there we go so what we're going to do is I would let that dry first actually and then cut that off okay but just for the demonstration I'm going to cut it off Cut it off now, okay? But I would always let it dry first. And then I'm going to pop on my crimp cover. So we've popped on our crimp cover there. And again, I'm going to just close that up very carefully, just so you, you don't want to squash the um, crimp cover and make it go out of shape. So you're just sort of nibbling around. So you've got that nice round shape. So you see at the beginning and the end, we've got the same detail okay so once we close that up we open up that beautiful clasp pop on that you see the beginning and the end of that piece is the same and that will be the same for you do exactly that same thing if you're doing a necklace or a bracelet or whatever clasp you're using um, and that's just how I do um, the majority of my pearl knotted pieces so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and um, I'll see you soon.